everyone, welcome back to Music with Ryan. As you just saw and heard, I played my arrangement of the Banks of the Ohio. All right, I did a nice Carter-style beginning arrangement, um, kind of stating that melody. This might be something that you are able to play solo guitar or in a, in a group setting as well. This uh, lesson is actually a request from one of my students slash customers out there. So thank you for that. I'm getting to them. I got a handful of requests and I'm trying to knock them off my list. Um, so this is one of them and a great tune, one of my favorite traditional tunes. And I kind of like the way I, uh, that Doc Watson does this song, actually. It's one of my favorite versions. So um, if you like the way I teach and my arrangements, I'd encourage you to go over to my website and check out the material I have over there. And then you can purchase this full-length lesson over there as well. And it's about 18 minutes in length. And you know, it'll come with PDF tabs and three practice tracks. And uh, also cover my rhythm plan. It's like a five, seven minute overview of what I would do playing backup and just a few bass walks and so forth. Okay, so if you um, have a request, please let me know. Make a comment down below. Just name a tune, okay? And I can see if I can get to it. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And yeah, if you got a lesson you're dying to learn, let me know about it. For now, we're going to check this one out. We're going to walk through it nice and slow so you can master this thing. And thanks for watching. Here we go. All right, so here we are, Banks of the Ohio in the key of C. And um, remember, the markings on the bottom of the staff are your pick directions. Okay, so the staples looking things are the downs. And if it's like a V shape, that's an upstroke. So pay very close attention to that. Um, this song starts on beat two. As you see the first little marking there, little squiggly line, <laughs> is a, a quarter note rest, okay? And it starts on beat two. The other thing I want to take note of too is, is in a lot of these Carter style um, videos of mine, if you've seen some of them, you notice I'm playing my C chord. The first note is C, it says C slash G, okay? And so it's a C chord, but um, I do have a G note in the bass, okay? And when I play it, it sounds really thick and lush. And a lot of that's just for um, to keep things connected, okay? And for maximum efficiency. You can kind of get away with doing the C the other way, but again, this shape is a C slash G. So if I have my C, move it up a fret, I'm sorry, a string, and then um, put my pinky where my third finger was, then there we go, C slash G. So anyway, so just a little tidbit about that. Um, might be new to you. So I'm going to play the first uh, three and a half measures and we'll break them down. So they sound like this. Um, one. the beginner arrangement here just stating a basic melody for you so again I you know the first three notes and then I gotta make sure my second finger is uh, off the strings open D there see how it all rings that's what I want not I mean you could do that and that would work but again I'm just um, kind of want that all to connect and ring out it'll sound nicer my second finger back down, the second fret of the D, and I strum my C to down up, then I go all the way down to the low string on the third fret, and then down up. And as you see there on those down ups, those strums, you know, I'm just strumming the bottom, whoops, three or four, or three strings is what's notated there. And uh, you may strum more and that's fine, but I really like to strum just those bottom three to kind of define what's going on a little bit better and a little more clarity. I mean, I could do that, but not in this case. I don't like to anyway. So um, just want to give you a heads up about that. I am doing, trying to do what is marked, <laughs> obviously, but I didn't miss mark it. <laughs> a one. that measure right there just quarter notes 
and I have my third, my pinky's already on the second, on the third fret, 